Good morning people and welcome back to my channel. It's China Dollar. So I'm in Winter Garden at the Winter Gardens Farmer Market and this place is open from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. I've been to a couple other farmers markets like the one in downtown and then the one in Winter Park. But this is the first time I'm going to the one here in Winter Garden, which is a little bit closer to where I live. So it'd be cool to check out all the vendors and then um, maybe grab some food here I'm not sure but then I'm here with two of my friends and later on we're also gonna go to the crooked can which is a like this big food hall brewery area in the same area so come along as we check out the farmers market plus crooked can all right so the first stand um, I'm with my friend Ryan and Tebow but Ryan wanted to go to the fresh mozzarella stand and these are the different types of um, mozzarella they have which is burrata Prima de Beretta, fresh mozzarella, log, ovaline, and sizzling. There it is. <laughs> Alright, so second booth where I wanted to go to is the Gran Arepa. I had this last time when I went to um, Lake Eola. And let's see, I'm curious what he's going to get. But these are the different types of arepas. If you guys are curious what they have here. So they got pepperoni for 9, shredded chicken for 11, and the barbecue pork for 12. So... <clears throat> Ryan end up getting the shredded chicken and he's making right now and these what they look like. They're pretty good and they smell good too. <laughs> this place is pretty dog friendly so you see a lot of people with their pets here walking around and there's like a little park in the back too. <laughs> so he's eating the uh, chicken arepa, right? Yeah. So how is it? <laughs> it's pretty good. Walking around, seeing the different flowers. That these 15, three for 40. They're really pretty. And let's see some some more over here in different colors. And we have some Fiends products. So the next stop, people wanted to go to the Goop Dog as he loves hot dogs and sausages. This is one of his favorite food. Um, and he's probably gonna get the classic goop dog or scooper goop dog you guys are wondering the price the goop dog is five and the scooper goop is seven and <laughs> okay so on the next stop of our adventure here at the farmer's market uh, and stopping at the coconut hut he's going to be getting the pineapple mango juice this is for eight dollars you can add coconut water with it they also have the sugar cane juice and ice coconut water look at this right here this is so cool, this little coconut stand, pineapple stand. <laughs> In case you guys are wondering, this is what the mango pineapple drink looks like and he says it's probably worth the eight bucks because it's like they give you in, they give you the drink in, in the whole well half of the pineapple and you can have it without the coconut water if you like, but you gotta make sure you tell them that or else you're gonna get it with the coconut water. There's this mini donut place in front of me, it smells so good and this is interesting. Watching these donuts just flip and make this machine that's right in front of me. Oh, there it goes, it just falls. <laughs> the weather outside is pretty nice right now, it's like 60 degrees and then it's going to warm up to 70 something. And then I think by tomorrow it'll be 90 and it'll drop down back to 50. I don't know, Florida's weather is really bipolar, it'll be hot, cold, hot, cold. But walking around outside, it feels really nice. Um, we're making another lap around all the different vendors again um, until 11 o'clock when the crooked can opens. Um, then that's when I'm probably gonna get something to eat because you guys know I'm a foodie. But I've been up super early and had breakfast at home, so that's why you didn't really see me eating around the farmers market. But my friends are enjoying it so far. But. I don't know where we're gonna head over now. Um, it's kind of similar, like the size when I took you guys along for the Winter Park Farmers Market. Um, some of the same vendors you're gonna see here and throughout all the other ones. They also have some live music here. It's like a live performing with the uh, guitar. And like everybody has their dogs walking around. So it's a really nice day out. And over there, you can see there's a little water fountain area. Next, we're gonna go to the Sweetland Cake and Tea um, to see. Oh, they got like sumo bowls here, but we may be coming in here to check out this place to get some bubble tea. And this is their menu. They have all different sort of flavors, smoothies, and let's see their desserts over here. I wanted to show you all the different cakes and pastries that they have. This is the lemon mousse. Strawberry mousse, coconut mousse, thing, and they got red velvet cake. 
and all the different macaroons. Check this out, guys. And the cheesecakes. Wow. So, guys, I for the and that place we just came from, Sweetland. Um, Chibo and I both got the same flavor, the taro bubble tea. Um, you could get like the other teas, but then the, the I like these bobos better because they're chewy. The other one is like kind of like the one that you get in Avatar. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> that is not how you check how cold the water. Never turns down a free shower. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, washing his hair. Yeah. He's washing his hair. This is what, hang, what happens when I hang out with my two my two best friends. But oh um, anyways, back to what I was saying. I can't stop laughing. Um this this taro boba is pretty good. Um like I said, this is usually one of my favorite flavors, this one or the honeydew. It's pretty good. It's starting to warm up now. Remember I told you guys earlier when I first came here it was a bit chilly. Well, for us, it's Florida cold. But I can't wait till we, when we go to the um, Crooked Can later because I've never been. My two friends have already been. And I'm excited to see what food places they have there because you guys know I'm a foodie. So I'll update you guys when we get over there. There you go. He's gonna get run. I wonder if he's gonna get hit by one of these waterfalls. Hey. <laughs> right, so we're leaving the farmer's market going into the Plant Street Market which is in the entrance of the Crooked Can. And this is gonna be like this one food hall I was telling you about guys. That you can pick different like food um, options. So starting off we got coffee, ceviche, donuts, tacos. It's like a whole hallway kind of similar to that spot I went to in Tampa. Also we got bento, they got the barbecue joint, got the butt chores, deli. Um, let's see what else is next over here. Oh, it's still part of the butcher's meat area. You can choose what you want on the big side. Got noshi, which is up um, to the left. Sorry. And what's coming up? Um, and then pounds crafted popsicles. What's in that? They got pizza, stromboli. Wow, a mapped out um, station. The little piggy if you want barbecue food. Oh man, there's like so many trees. I don't know what to eat. Now we're walking into the brewery. This is where you can get all the different types of beers. Well, on that menu, it tells you what they have to choose from. So it's a, it's a very big selection, as you can see. So if you're a beer drinker, you should definitely come to this end of the cookie can. So to the right, this is the beer that uh, Brian has got. is the one to snap, which is the dark colored beer. And then over here, this is the Tebow guy, who is the Florida Sunshine. You know what Tebow pointed out, which is interesting, I never noticed it, but he said that the cup that they serve the beer in is actually shaped like any. If you stare really closely, you notice it's a tube. <laughs> so for lunch, I decided to go to the Little Piggy to get some barbecue food. And I had got the pulled pork sandwich. And you get two sides that come with it. So I got the fries, the coleslaw. Yeah, for my drink, I got the lemonade. Yeah, no, People see. got the same thing as the pulled pork sandwich, but his side is mac and cheese, fries. And he got the half and half, well, half lemonade, half tea. Alright, guys, just got back from the Winter Gardens Farmer's Market and eating lunch at the Crooked Can. So, the farmer's market was pretty interesting. It was, um... <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted, guys. So, <laughs> I didn't get, like, well, beside the um, taro boba tea, I didn't really get too much food because, like I said, um, I wanted to see my appetite for when we had lunch at the Crooked Can. Um, so, my friends, Tebow and Ryan, they got a bunch of stuff like, um like the the cheats and the the bread and um the hot dogs and that pineapple mango drink that ryan had oh my goodness that was like i know i didn't show it in camera but off camera was pretty good i tried some of that and then um basically just just chilled and then at 11 o'clock 
when the crooked can opened, we just walked down that whole food um hall and I end up getting that barbecue place that I showed you guys. Um I had the pulled pork sandwich that comes with two sides, so I got the coleslaw and the french fries and it was a lot of food. I got really full really quick. Um but it's a cool place like you can, like I showed you they have a brewery in there if you guys are a beer drinker I definitely recommend that spot to hang out have a drink have food it's cool it does it it does get pretty packed especially on the weekends so I recommend coming out early so you can get a parking spot <laughs> um but it was a great weekend beautiful weather outside had a great time with friends with had good food um so let me know in the comments below have you guys ever been to either the winter winter gardens farmers market or the uh crooked can or are you planning to go i like doing these things because it's something different than just going to the parks all the time and trying different food seeing different places new things i've never done um but i hope you guys enjoy this video with us if you do give us a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and i'll see you next venture bye